think that uh, we played uh, well. Um, it's just unfortunate we weren't able to come away with two points tonight. Do you feel like you kind of let them off the hook there because you had that power play for basically the last half of the, the overtime? Yeah, I don't know about let off the hook, but that's obviously a oppor good opportunity. I thought the guys moved around pretty good, but unfortunately we weren't able to score. But um, like I said, we did a lot of good things tonight, and uh, we hope to build on that against Winnipeg in the next one. You get Nick Holden back. What was it like playing with him tonight? Was it like you guys just left off where you, where you, where you were before he got hurt? Uh, he, he's easy to play with. He, he's talking out there. He's communicating with me, and he's in good spots all over the ice, so it, it makes it easy. You're kind of becoming a scoring machine now, five points in the last <laughs> Last two weeks, is this kind of the best stretch of your career in that regard? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think too much about my individual stats. It's more about the team right now. We're, we're having a tough time finding wins, so that's what's most important. John, as far as chasing, that first goal has been elusive for the team. Uh, how difficult is it to I think overcome will be available that? his locker. Um, yeah, you know, we, it, it's something we, we focused on, trying to come out and get a good start. But unfortunately, we weren't able to get the first one tonight. But I thought we responded well and, and played well the rest of the game. Is the shootout loss any less disappointing than any other kind of loss? Does it feel like it's less of a loss than anything else, or is it just we didn't win, so you didn't win? Um, what puts um, up about this time of year, it's all about getting those two points. Obviously, it's, it's nice to be able to get one, but to not to not get that second one, it's just a little bit frustrating. And But like I said, we did a lot of good things tonight, and um, we're going to hopefully build on that and be ready for Winnipeg on uh, Friday. Thanks, John.